got a surprise for Beth. Today is the 17th of January 2019 and she turns 24 on the 19th of January. Two days time. Tomorrow morning I'm surprising her with a trip to Barcelona which she has no idea about and I'm about to secretly, secretly, secretly get her passport. Well used, look at that. Is that even legal? Tomorrow morning we're getting up at 6am to travel over to Stansted Airport. Mum's going to give us a lift. Thank you mum for helping us out. Are you excited Beth for your surprise? I'm so excited, I'm a bit nervous. you got to wait till the morning. I think I'm more excited than you though. I'm going to a steakhouse. <laughs> steakhouse, exactly. You don't know to open your card. Can I feel it? To feel the card? Yeah. Both driving me down a little country lane. I think he's gonna. Do you not recognise where we are? Not really. You've been here before, loads of times. So we're at your mum's. I said we were going to your mum's. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we just got here to my mum's house. I think we're gonna tell you your present now, Beth. Okay, can I open it? Am I gonna ugly cry? Try not to tell you this. I love this. But your mum's done the whole time. Emma! Thank you for my passport. It went down alright, didn't it? Yeah, it went down alright. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want a coffee. I'm hungry. <laughs> Right, let's go for security. That's oversharing since 1995. <laughs> Hello. So we just bought 48 hour tickets, which is how long we're here for. Two card, how much was it? It was 30 euros, but it worked out 13 pounds a head to travel 48 hours. Mm -hmm. On it's cheap, buses, in comparison train. to London, it's all cheap. Also, I, souvenir. Public transport is so good in anywhere but London. <laughs> London, <laughs> anywhere but the UK. London is just expensive and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just arrived in Barcelona. I got off the metro. It's about 45 minutes from the um, from the airport. It's too far. We're staying in the old town. It's like right bang in the centre though. What was the station called? Oh. Le Schwam. I mean, Schwamel. That's like more of a French accent. A 15 minute walk down to the Airbnb, which is very exciting. And we're going to meet with, we're gonna meet with Tony. Tony's the man. We have arrived at the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. We're staying with Tony. He's a really cool guy. I'm a bit intimidated by how cool he is. He is really cool, isn't he? And he's got a dog called Jackie Brown. Sick. This is our little room. Beautiful. Thank you, Diane. Does the job. Yep, and Beth, of course. We did a big review of the view. Imagine if it's just a wall. <laughs> it's a wall. It is actually just a wall. <laughs> We're just about to go out now, have something to eat, have a couple of drinks. We're going to a bar called Dryer Martini and Speakeasy, which we've looked on Google and it's like number one on like every website we looked on. Where's Beth though? I don't know where Beth's gone. Beth. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what, what you see there is Beth's typical Friday night. 
You're looking forward to the expensive cocktail bar. Always. You're looking forward to the Instagram tag. Yes. Imagine. It's really cold. It's freezing. It's freezing. It's like six degrees or something in Barcelona on this January evening. It's taken us so far two hours to walk 20 minutes worth of a Google Maps walk because we've been we've been taking far too long. We've been getting very distracted, haven't we, both? Shops. Shops, and we had some beautiful food though. Yeah, it was really good. And I've got a really good Instagram photo as well. Still waiting on mine. Oh, you wait till you see my outfit tomorrow. You're all gonna love it. Snake. Um, no, because who takes the good pictures? No, no, I'm saying I was a snake. Oh, okay, yeah. Two, two, two. So, we're still on the way to this dry martini bar. It's two miles walk. I think we might have to get a cab back later, Beth. Yeah, I think so. We'll see, we'll see. The night is our oyster. The world is our oyster. The world is Beth's oyster because it's her birthday. <gasps> I love birthdays. It was really nice in here. I got, I got a Collins gin cocktail. What did you get? Um, We're like proper official people right now, proper official adults, aren't we? We're adulting. We're adulting. It's really strong. Oh yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. Are you jealous? That's so nice. Just, that's powerful. Our time at the dry martini it's over is now. over. But what a great place, what a great experience to go. If you're ever in Barcelona and you've got loads of money, then I'll suggest going there. It is quite expensive. It was an average of about 15 euros a cocktail. But the service in there is amazing, the staff are amazing, it was brilliant, like, it is really, really classy. Look at her, look. Would you, would, would you recommend dry martini? It was lovely. There's a man dressed as a woman who tried to sell us roses. He called Bo Handsome. And he called me Handsome. I thought he was calling so me look, four. everyone's a winner. See clip here. <laughs> Someone called me a guapo. Me and Beth are just walking to this next bar. And there's literally like taxis just stopped. This is a strike. What's happened? Do you reckon they're striking? This is like right in the centre of Barcelona. Like this is scary. I've seen horror movies like this. I mean, literally, there's cars everywhere. London, yeah, yeah London. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they stay, like, do that until the government get the decision about that. They will stay. Wait, wait, so, is, so is Uber like out in dispute at the moment about what? Yeah, they don't oh, okay. anymore because they it's, 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 it's all it's still killing their business. Lots of taxes about taxis, so. Okay. It was right. happening in Madrid before. Oh really? Madrid. Yeah, in Madrid. Okay. Thank you so Hi, much. Hi, thank you guys. Have a good night. See you later. I told you. So there you have it. I'm a genius. Two, two locals there just informed us. Oh, I mean, they were nice. Sorry, they I, didn't want to I didn't want to film, but. You were they... filming them, and I was like, both. <laughs> they don't want to be on film. But this is mad. I mean, Uber, Uber, you know, it's a great idea, it's a great concept, but I can understand. I the, understand the, the fury. Yeah. Look, it's literally mad. All the way down. There's, there's your feedback. Uber, Barcelona, the locals are not happy about it. I once saw a woman's walk against Trump in New York. That was iconic. My mum wouldn't let me join. Anyway, we're gonna get a drink. That was interesting. See you in the bar.